Fun fact, before I came here to talk about fuzz petals, I actually shaved my face and then I just grew an insane amount of fuzz um, the moment I touched this guy, so be prepared. like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. A fuzz pedal is something different than distortion and overdrive, and it's a very unique niche sound. There, there's such a wide range of fuzz tones. It's a signal that's just overly processed until it squashes and compresses into a square wave, and you're able to get anything from a saturated sound to very clippy, almost glitchy sounds. When you hear one, like they're unmistakable, there aren't a lot of things that sound like them, or any really. You would want to use fuzz pedals if you're just looking for another palette, another soundscape that you haven't really explored before. But they can be used in generally any style of music, anything from blues to rock to, to just about whatever. Jimi Hendrix used a fuzz pedal, Billy Corgan, Jack White. There's really no set rules for fuzz pedals. It's just a matter of you want to make some weird noises that you've never made before. Fuzz pedal is your go-to. <laughs> but today we're gonna to be talking about the Old Blood Noise Endeavors, The Haunt. Well, the Old Blood Noise has a couple of key features, one of which being the gate. And on this gated fuzz pedal, you can go from like a, a very smooth, saturated fuzz to just like an overly just squashed, compressed. <laughs> And then when you turn the gate on, you're really gonna hear the clipping on it. But more or less, there are just a lot of different ways to shape your fuzz. There are a couple other key things like the these toggles basically allow you to shape the low pass filter that's on here. So it lets a certain amount of low end it into the fuzz and the range, which kind of kind of gives you like a more low gain or high gain sound, really. And there's also another cool feature where you can, you can actually mix your dry signal into the fuzz. So without anything on, that's just gonna be your dry signal. And then you can mix the amount of fuzz into it. Like. So if you wanna maintain a little bit more clarity at the same time as the fuzz that you're creating, that mix feature is like really handy but you can run it wide open too and just get like all fuzz all the way. <laughs> um, as far as signal flow, you'd want to kind of group it with your other overdrives and distortions. So you're always going to want like your tuners first in the chain, like all your volume based effects like wah and compression and stuff like that. And then all your fuzz pedals, distortion and overdrives are going to go next. And then after that, all your time-based effects and modulation is gonna go after that, like chorus and delay and all that stuff, so. Thanks for watching and don't forget to stop into Hyde Music or visit us at hydemusic.com uh, to check out our selection of fuzz pedals or other pedals you might have your eyes on. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. <laughs>